Alright, 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 alright. What up? It's your girl Jenny D. Thanks for tuning in this week. And this week I'm gonna be talking about confidence. What is it and how to get more of it? Let's go ahead and start with the definition, shall we? According to Merriam Webster's dictionary, confidence is a feeling or belief that you can do something well or succeed at something. My belief on what confidence is, is being proud of who you are, no matter who says what. What if you're not confident in who you are? What should you do then? Thank God you're tuned into this video today, because I have four practical tips for you. Number one, release the pressure to fit in. I wasn't always confident in who I was, mainly because I thought I had to fit into a stereotype, but I have learned that I am always evolving based on my experiences. I spend a lot of time floating between different click cliches is what I like to call them. This is actually my freshman track picture. <laughs> um, I clearly did not want to fit any mold. Sophomore year, heavy eyeliner, dark face. This was my gangster year uh, and uh, senior year and they asked us, where will you be in 10 years? And I said, I'll be living in North Carolina, driving on 2018 Chrysler's 300, sitting on 20 bows, chromed out, with two 18 sitting in the back. Rich, really rich. Look at all that money. I think I got like $23 right there. But it took some time to realize that I don't necessarily fit into one of those particular stereotypes that I am who I am. See, if I try too hard to fit in to a certain stereotype, what I'm doing is I'm altering my natural frequency, therefore I'm gonna start attracting the wrong people and the wrong opportunities that are meant for somebody else that I'm trying to be. But if I stay true to myself, then I will attract the people and the opportunities that are a part of my own unique destiny. All right, number two, changing your body language. So take a notice of your posture right now. Are you slumped over watching this video? When you greet someone, do you give them a flimsy handshake and look them in the eye for a split second or not even look at them in the eye? Or do you give them a firm handshake and say, hi, my name's Jenny, nice to meet you. That's actually not how I greet everybody every time, but you get the point. We obviously know which scenario is the more confident. So, start paying attention to your body language because it speaks for more than your speech because it comes from your subconscious, how you really feel, no matter what your conscious is trying to hide. There is something called fake it till you make it. I'm sure y'all have heard of it. And it's easy to apply to your body language. After a while of forced firm handshakes and direct eye contact, walking down the hallway looking up, and upright posture, you will trick your mind into believing yourself more because it's only natural for your mind to catch up with your body. It all works in sync. And remember, your energy is radiated from your heart and your head. So keep your chest and your head, uh, your chest and your head, keep your chest and your head high. Numero tres, positive affirmations. Every day, write down some positive things about yourself. Preferably those that you don't think are true and targeted at your insecurities. For example, if you think you're ugly, write down, I am beautiful every day until it sticks in your mind until you believe it. The more time you commit and the more consistent you are, the better. Positive affirmations change the way you view the world by changing your thinking patterns. Numero cuatro. Sorry, that was eight. Number four exercise and nutrition. Proper exercise and nutrition will greatly improve your confidence and your overall health. Professional guidance is optimal when trying to achieve and maintain the best results. To learn more about how to get started on your personalized nutrition and exercise plan, email Brian at BrianTWilliamsJr at gmail.com. And I will include his email below in the comment section. I know for damn sure if I stop going to the gym for like three days, I start to feel like shit. Like I start to just feel like, uh, like there, was, there goes on my energy levels, there goes like my discipline and I start to feel like shit about myself because I'm losing the ability to, to have confidence in my ability because I'm not doing, you see what I mean? Now listen guys, I know it's not easy. I know because I've been there and I'm still doing this. I'm still there. Like I'm not 100% confident to this day. So I understand. 
After a while, you will start to notice the changes in your life. You will start to attract more confident and positive people and the opportunities you've always wanted. You can tell I've watched The Secret, right? <laughs> and it works for me. It works for everything. It's the law of attraction, people. Hell, when I applied for the real world, I imagined myself waking up in that house every single day and walking through that house and saying hi to the camera that wasn't even fucking there. Being like, hey. Hey Steve, what's up, bro? Whatever. It was like I envisioned it was gonna happen and it did. Blah -de blah -de blah. I'll probably do a whole another video on the secret later. But this is about confidence. So anyway, out of my own curiosity, I want you to comment below what you think about my new decoration arrangement in my bedroom. You see that mirror over there with the lights? Holla. And I want you to tell me about your experiences through click cliches, as I call them, and how this video has helped you in any way. Hope you learned something. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button. And please click the subscribe button if you'd like to stay in touch. I make new videos every Wednesday. See y'all next week. Holla. Bye-bye. Oh, Chief wants to say bye, too. Come here, Chief. Kiki ki, ki. He says, what, 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 what? Say bye-bye to everybody at home. Say bye-bye. I love you. She says, bye, I love you. Mm. <laughs> She's like, freak the fuck out. She says, bye-bye. Oh, never mind. I'm thinking about naming my Wednesday videos What Up Wednesday or Word Up Wednesday. What do you think's better? <laughs>